almost at the end of our number four sequence. I'm just going to show you the most advanced of the day, day, uh, dancing Shiva. And as you can tell, number four is the chillaxing and the um, skydiver and flying butterfly in the lounges. This might be enough for the average person. And what we're doing with the dancing Shiva and Hanuman is really for the just one or two people in class that are super yogi, flexible, really want that extra challenge. But only do it if you have one of those people in the class. Don't just do it to show off. <laughs> like what, look what we can do in this swing. Well, what do you not like so, to be? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Don't teach something you don't feel comfortable with, too, right? So if you come into the lounges and you see everyone struggling, don't bother bending the knee. Right? Just hang out here and get the shoulders stretch. You know, you can really play in the space. I do a lot of swinging and playing from side to side, too. So pushing and pulling in the space, bringing the foot down, like Sam said, might be enough for that person in that day. If somebody wants to go further, and you guys can do this with me if you want, we're gonna go from Dancing Shiva into Hanuman, which is where you grab the foot. Okay, now this is a big pose, so only do it if it feels right. And can you do it without having the back foot and the elbow crease? Well, yeah, it's really easy then. <laughs> it really is easy. I mean, the foot is right yeah, there, and you just grab it. Yeah. <laughs> you touch your toes. So yeah, the full dancing Shiva. See, my hand is actually engaged in the back, and then you can grab. So come through the lunge, bend the knee, get it into the elbow crease. I'll probably not do that. Okay. Now, you're going to have trouble balancing if you don't have it in the elbow crease. So that's what I was wondering. Yeah, just hold on to the swing at this, up to the leg loop at the same time. Do the, yeah, there you go. Good. And now straighten. Good. Ooh. <laughs> it does seem far. So keep this leg extended. See how you pulled up? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Can you grab for the calf? Yeah. Yeah. Pull it up, and then you just get the leg. So try for the length instead of the contraction in it. Right? Good. Beautiful. That looks better, right? Yeah. <sighs> So that's enough. So as long as the leg lifts, you can reach for the toes. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you get extra gold stars for coming into Hanuman, but I do have to do it on both sides. If I do it on one side, I have to come back and do it on the other. So we'll do it together again. Okay, so just grab for the foot, but make sure even, sorry, even if you're here that you're holding on. Sorry for me not to do it the other way. Reach forward, lean forward. So see how you're up? Mm -hmm. In the back, you have to square the hips. There it is. Thank you. Thank you for understanding my cues to straighten the leg. Oh, it that is so hard. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Grab for the, grab for the cap. Yeah, there you go. But you could do it when you were four. <laughs> Good. And then it'll come. You have to relax. You have to relax into it to get the leg. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, the, the body is draping forward. That's right. Amazing. Which means you're getting the quad stretch because you're pulling forward. Yeah. You're like, ah, yeah. trying to stay up. Yeah. Okay? And so then from there, flying arrow, which is kind of what we were doing before, which is where you can push both arms straight or one arm straight. I do one arm, then the other arm, and then you get this it's awesome swing. sway from side to side, like it's a swing. So that's how you come into flying arrow. That's, yeah. And then the other side, around the belt. We always do like one on one side one. Yeah. So this is not much of a stretch, it's more fun. <laughs> it's the arms though. It's a little bit, but if you try to do both, then it's really challenging. Back to Hummingbird. Nice guys, and then the alternative is high diver. High diver, of course, is with everything up high. Yes, like we were just talking about. So we can do the whole sequence from high diver, which is the coming forward, bending the elbows, hanging out here, relaxing, tilting, coming back. So with the feet on the ground, one forward, come back into high diver. You just lift the knee. Nice. Yeah. 
So for some people, the hips are a very emotional place for them, and you'll see the upsetness when they can't do something, and you just say, that's okay, we'll have a diver, because then it's like skydiving, and it's so fun. Everybody's happy, and they can do it, because everybody just wants to feel like they can do it. So let's just lean back here one more time. So I want you to just try this so you can get the um, details into the body. So I'm just going to wait for you because this is nice in itself. <laughs> you guys want to try a drop back from here? Can you do drop back in this room? Okay. So from high diver, actually that's it though. So our hands stay around the swing and come to prayer. See how my feet are forward and I'm on the diagonal? So my head is up. Then when we lean forward, we press the leg loops away and then bring the legs back. Beautiful transitions. We just pick the feet up. Really good. And then if we want to come back, we bring the feet forward and then we lean back. So I was just going to show you that you can come into like a drop back. Practice the bow here, which is really nice for people who... So when you drop back, you want to get the, get the swing low. Yeah. Swing low. You know, the swing kind of come with the little bit. Yeah. That's another way to kind of do um, a back bend, which is really nice. Stretch that into it. That's, it's way easier with this tight up to do the back bend than let this thing slide down your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everything closer to the center of the body is going to be way easier for people. So it might be a nice way for them to just even practice just coming into a back bend here if they're like, oh. Uh, you know, you're going to make all the sounds if it's too hard for them. <laughs> They'll tell you with their sounds. Okay, great, guys. So, let's see here. We have just a few minutes. Why don't we go ahead and take a break? That way we have a little bit of a longer session when we get back. Is that okay? It's a good place to stop because we're going to do the one-legged variations and then go through those restorative. Let's see what comes we get done. All right. So, go ahead and look that over because I'm not going to review it again. So, look over three and four on your break. Mine and take a little bit. Thank you, guys. Thank you.